Hello everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here. Let's get cracking, Jack. Yeah, Hollywood. You know I love you more than one that should. Yeah, Hollywood. Well, kiss me, kiss me good. Yeah, Hollywood. You know I have seen my first movie of 2013 even though it is now being praised at the Oscars for the films that were made in 2012, this weekend was in fact its wide release date. So of course I am counting it, as I said in my previous video, as a 2013 release. I'm talking about Catherine Bigelow's massively Oscar-snubbed Zero Dark Thirty. What can I say that was bad about this movie? Nothing! This movie was perfect! I didn't see a single thing wrong with this one. I didn't even have to check my cell phone wondering what time it is. The right way to describe this movie is natural and gripping. Catherine Bigelow has a crazy way of directing. There are points in time when you can't figure out if it's fantasy or reality. You just can't figure it out. And there were certain points in time when I was watching this movie and I said to myself, oh yeah, this is about how we caught Osama Bin Laden. I, I completely forgot that that was what the movie was about at some point in time. Just because it was so tense and so chilling and so freaking amazing. Jessica Chastin, or Chastin, or Chastine, however you pronounce her name, she was gold in this movie. I just loved how she brought this natural beauty that you just don't see in the world of acting anymore. Like, this is something Meryl Streep can't even do. And quote me on that, okay? Quote me on that! She was phenomenal, she's nominated for the Oscar, and I sure as hell hope she wins, but what about all the other actors that were part of this movie, because everyone's praising her. James Gandolfini, great for his small role. Mark Strong, no one's talking about his role. Joel Egerton, fantastic. And Jennifer L. She was probably my favorite character. I just loved her spryness and her how to make the best out of a bad situation feel throughout the movie until, of course, when you see the movie you'll know why, but I, I just can't say anything bad about this movie. It was incredible, it was perfectly paced, it was gripping, it was... oh my goodness. You don't even need to be any kind of a movie fan to see this movie. Why did I see it? I just wanted to see it because of the fact that the whole story about Osama Bin Laden's capture, I I've always wanted to know, you know, how it all went down, because I remember exactly where I was when it actually happened. I had said in my previous review of Homeland that I'm not into the sleeper cell. This movie is not about the sleeper cell. This is just a fantastic, glorified natural retelling of a very important piece of recent history. And as of now, I am saying this. While I'm considering this a 2013 release, I'm giving it 4 out of 4, and right now, I don't think there's going to be any movie that's coming out this year, even though we're only two weeks into the new year, I don't think any movie is going to top it. So that's it, everybody. The question that I'm going to leave with you today is... Do you recall what you were doing when you heard that Osama Bin Laden was killed? I was putting together my Wow Machinum poem, and I did in fact create a video documenting the death of Osama Bin Laden on the 2nd of May 2012, and I'll post a link for it below. I am the Lawn Gnome, it's great to be back. Prepare for my Oscar snubs video, and remember that actions speak louder than words.